Okay, let's look at the expansion. We're expanding the expansion of this log. We have the log of a quotient, right? So we, are, we have the division of something on the inside. I mentioned this before, I'm gonna mention it again. Decimals and radicals, they're not speaking the same language as logarithms. Logarithms speak the language of exponent, okay? So we wanna take anything that's a fraction Anything that is, um, whoa, excuse me. Anything that's a fraction, anything that's a radical, and write it with exponents. So before I even start this, I'm going to rewrite this as x to the one half power over 16. Is everybody okay with that? There's another way to look at this. But I think we'll. I think I'll hold on to that for now because we've talked about the property of what we do with the logarithm of a quotient. A quotient, a quotient is tethered to the operation of subtraction. I say tethered, it's sort of connected to it. It's a loose connection, okay? They're not joined at the hip, but there is a connection between division and subtraction when we talk about logarithms. So we have the log of a quotient that can become two separate logs with subtraction. The difference of two logs is what we say. Again, I'll mention for probably like the eighth time. The log of a quotient is the difference of two logs. So when I write it like this, I've got a power here that I can bring down in front, and I should, when I'm expanding, I should have exponents in, a, in, a, in, a, in an expansion. When I'm done, there should be everything written on one level if I can get it to be that way. And then over here, Log base 4 of 16, I mentioned this before, know your powers. Know your, your perfect squares, know your perfect cubes. 16 is a power of 4. It's 4 squared. And if this is an expansion and I can simplify that log, I probably should. So I have 1 half log base 4 of x minus this represents an exponent. That whole thing the value of that package, that log package, is an exponent. So 4 to the what power is 4 to the second power? The answer to that, you said it yourself, it's 2. So there we have it. You can't say 4 to the what power equals x. Nothing you can do with that. 